The late Dr. Edgar Mitchell, an Apollo 14 astronaut who walked on the moon, said this about our next guest. Francis is brilliant, a brilliant advanced thinker and an international treasure, bringing hope and inspiration to those who seek the path out of illness to sustained health and well-being. Raymond Francis is a chemist by training, a graduate of MIT, a New York Times best-selling author, a world-class speaker, an internationally recognized leader in the field of optimal health and maintenance. Hi, I'm Raymond Francis. I'm a chemist by training. I'm a graduate of MIT. Now, dairy protein, as we said before, is very, very different, and cow's milk is very high in protein. Cow's milk, of course, is more than 80% casein, and human milk is only 40% casein, and it's a different kind of casein. So we're not prepared to digest that uh, casein from a cow. Cow's milk is different. First of all, four times the protein of human milk. So cow's milk is especially rich in protein. It has four times the protein that's in human milk, and this is very significant. Not only does it have four times as much protein, it has the wrong protein. And this is really, really significant. Cow's milk is very rich in a protein called casein. And, um, and casein is, um, is not something we ought to be eating because human milk is very rich in a protein called whey. So we've reversed it when we drink cow's milk. We drink too much casein and not enough whey. And caseins are difficult for humans to digest. You see, cows have four stomachs. We only have one. And uh, they have different ways of dealing with the casein. Uh, but we don't. Hard to digest. So the casein, the undigested casein, goes down into the lower intestines where it putrefies. And it creates all kinds of toxins that are then absorbed into the body. And these undigested proteins can actually go through the gut, especially if you have what we call leaky gut syndrome. Go right through the gut and then become allergens in the body. And this is why so many of us are allergic to milk. 